Hey everyone, this is Jessica on Lockout Stat Gamer, and this game is Eliasis. I played the demo, so this isn't completely blind, but I do know a bit about it. Currently I'm with the livestream peoples. Hi, livestream peoples. Sorry for the tech oh, we had some technical difficulties before this, but we're sorry now. Also, new game. To be honest, besides the fact that this game takes place in, uh, good old- It was September of 1992 when I received the letter from my mother asking me to visit her at our hometown. In the letter, she told me that she wanted to see me, and also mentioned that she wanted to talk to me about my father. That made me curious because my father had died before I was born, and mother rarely talked about him. I decided to travel at night to avoid traffic. After three hours of driving, I reached the country road, and I was getting pretty tired. It was dark outside, and I still had a long way to go. So, evidently we got in a car crash. Anything else you want to say? Probably. Usually you have things to say after you're in a car crash. No longer do I have a voice, and... My car is wrecked. I need to continue on foot to find some help. And thus he hops out of his car, a brilliant idea in any horror scenario. And uh, we find ourselves now in good old Carsville. Use left shift to run, got it, got it. Uh, control to crouch, space to jump, got it. Anything that we have in our car? You'd think he'd have something of use, but... Apparently not, apparently not. Anything in the trunk? Oh, yes, he does have something useful in the trunk. Press I for inventory, J for journal, and F for flashlight. I wonder what would happen if you didn't pick that up. Alright, so on the road that we came from, which of course you know is the first thing I'm going to investigate being Mr. I'm going to explore everything gamer. That should be my new name. It's too far to go on foot. I need to find another way. Hey, I'll keep on going whenever you want me to or not until... Yep, the inevitable invisible wall pops up. You, you could have come up with something better. There was a, like a rock slide that just come up right next to us. You could like put a, a thing of rocks here and that would make more sense than an invisible wall, but... Uh, for this game's clarity, I'm going to ignore that for now because that does exist in probably more games than it should. An invisible wall right behind the starting point even though there's a clear path ahead of you. Alright, I can't open this car door for whatever foreseeable reason, so that must mean that there must be a path forward. I know, we have a flashlight. That was something that wasn't included for some reason in the demo. I guess I'm going to lose it. Maybe? Possibly? It's too far to go on foot. I need to find another way. But, it's... Can I... Go? There's another visible wall in front of me, really? Ah, oh, boy. What? How does he even know it's too far? Does he exactly know where he crashed? I, I think that they should come up with a better excuse than that. I, I do understand they want me to probably find a hole in the fence like right here, but... Oh yeah, you know, hey, let's abandon the road I was traveling to wherever the hell I was going. Let's instead take the dark, deep forest road. It's gonna go brilliantly. I can already smell it. Alright, so right now we're going forest in the middle of nowhere. Uh, let's see, do we have stamina? I'm running, but I'm not running out of any of the stamina. I will follow the path for now, though this game... Would this game have collectibles? Now let me check, press I for my inventory. Oh, I do have a journal. It was September of 1992 when I received a letter from my mother asking me to visit her at our hometown. In the letter, she told me that she wanted to see me and also mentioned that she wanted to talk to me about my father. That made me care... Oh, it's the exact same thing you just said. Uh, suddenly, a big rock seems to have detached from the mountain and fell on my car. The car is wrecked. I need to uh, find some help. I found the path near the road. I will follow it. So, apparently our main hero is literally just walking around and jotting stuff down in his notebook as he goes. You know, completely normal habits there, I guess. I, I'm kind of tempted to run through the forest, but for sake of clarity and the fact that I want to see where the hell that flickering light over there is. I mean, is it just me? Was that tree flickering? Was that a glitch? Was that something particularly noticeable? I have no idea, but the line effect there looks really cool. Deeper into the forest. Ooh, a well. With a bucket. Can I throw up in the air and... Yep. However, though, it landed perfectly straight up. Oh, not me to click that. Alright. Throw. 
Okay, the bucket fell over. I know that this game is one of those games where you can pick up and just kind of toss around whatever the hell you want. Again, that's not a bad thing, but there's no particular purpose to it that I found, because apparently all the items that you need are in your inventory, at least they were in the demo. Ooh, wolf howls. Is there going to be werewolves? I don't know. It is the full moon, I guess. To be honest, I don't know what the enemy force in this game is. In the demo, there was like this cloak guy, but they didn't really hint at whatever the hell you were dealing with. However, we have definitely found ourselves in some sort of village. It's an old village. Maybe I can find someone and ask for help. And inside his journal, at the end of the path, I found an old village. Maybe someone can help me. All right. So we have a village. They have built this whole entire town out of cobblestone. And I'm expecting locked doors like crazy to come up now. They even go as far as to board up the windows. That is an obvious bad omen in any type of scenario where you, where you got into a car crash. Hey, I got into a random car crash. Better go deep into the forest and find some weird abandoned town where literally everyone has boarded up their doors and windows. Can't possibly go wrong. Alright, hunting, hunting. What's over here? Locked doors. Now, obviously what we're supposed to do is find the door or whatever it is we're looking for that we can interact with. Would this gate be it? Nope, even the gate's locked. Hmm... Uh, I can't hop over this, but I can hop over that, okay. Which means that... Is there a way to turn my sensitivity up? That is getting... Like, I'm turning way too slow. Here it is. Now sensitivity way up, please. Apply. That is much better for me. Alright. Oh! <gasps> dun dun blood, of course. Or ketchup, or hot sauce. Ow! And voice acting, suddenly. You think you heard it from the entrance, which means we should obviously go investigate. Yep, it is clear water. Which means I, okay, I'll run to it. I should probably do the opposite, but I'll do it. Oh, from in here. Ah, oh, thank God you heard me. They locked me in. Please, help me get out. What happened? Where's the key? They took the key with them. As they were leaving, I heard one of them say to the other, in vino veritas. I hope that makes sense to you. Who locked you in? And why? Just hurry, and I'll explain everything to you later. They could come back any moment now. Damn, the barriers my flashlight are dead. Oh. Okay. That That's new. Journal says... At the end of the path of the village, I heard a woman scream while I was at the square of the village. The woman was locked in a house. I need to help her get out. The only clue I have is that one of the men who locked her in says to the other, In vino veritas. I've heard this before. It's a Latin phrase that means the truth is in the wine. Also, the batteries of my flashlight are dead. I need to find new ones. Okay. Actually, I think I already know the solution to this because there was a puzzle that was inside the demo that involved something inside wine. So going to assume that's what this is. Okay, for a second I thought it was someone else's footsteps other than I. You know me, tossing over tables like it's nobody's business, because it's not. Whee! There. Wow, I am powerful. Can I do that again? Yeah. Can't pick up a table. So you can't flip tables. I know you guys like making those flip tables mother cons in the chat or whatever. Yeah. Jesus Christ, that went flying. I, I think I might be superhuman. I want to do it one more time. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having too much fun messing around with chairs. Screw you, chair! Alright, can we open this? Nope, it's locked, and it's the... I can't read Greek, Al. When in Rome, do as the Greeks do. Alright, uh... Is that open? Nope, it's locked. You know, I should have expected that, but I kind of got my hopes up. Alright, so if we keep on going hunting, that must mean that's either going to be down this alley or up there. I'll go down over here because this looks like a... Oh, it's not a dead end. But I can actually open this. <gasps> oh, wait, I know this! This is the demo area. Yeah, you started the demo, but this gate behind you was already locked. Alright, which means that uh, up here is nothing, I'm assuming. Yep, nothing, except a door. Which, who saw this coming, is locked. However, though, under the carpet, is there a key? Is there a... Can't see shit without my flashlight. But no, there is no key there. So, which means we're going to go and do the th same sort of stuff we did in the demo. Which I already have figured out, so this is going to be nothing new. So, let's see. 
That's locked. Uh, the key to the demo is that down here, and we discover this on our own. Uh, open this, please. There we go. As you see, there is a generator here. Strong smell, all that stuff. Also, for one second, I'm going to resync you guys. I accidentally moved the window a little bit. One of the disadvantages to playing the game like this while live streaming. But, uh, as I said, right now, okay, back. As you see, this is out of gas. And there's nothing else we can really do about it except get ourselves some gasoline. Thankfully, getting gasoline is as simple as doing a bit of exploration. Now, at first when I started playing the demo, I thought that to get the gasoline we would need this gas tank here. But this is too rusty and it's having a seizure on the wall. Can I throw away Superhuman style? Whee! I think it fell on the roof. Did it fall on the path? Yeah, it fell on the path. Okay. Uh, no, I did not mean to touch that. All right, let's try this. <laughs> Physics. All right, what we need to do, and this is a little bit unnoticeable. This is going to probably be one of those type of games where you have to look around at everything to make sure you know what you're doing. There's a hose right here that you need to pick up. So we get a hose. It might be helpful if we run over here. Ooh. You're, nope, no, no, no. I do not keep on clicking that. All right, so if you pick this up, you see that we have this oil drum right now. Stupid oil drum. So I was going to throw this ahead. Oh, wait. the trees even have physics. That's cool. Uh, there's a moped right here. If I examine it. Looks like there's some gas left. If we take our inventory and decide to use our hose. Okay, now I need something to put the gas in. So we have the hose, which leaves us having to locate ourselves wherever the gas can is. Before the gas can, though, there's one thing I want to get before I do the, all this. Actually, I'll go get the gas can first. Uh, the gas can's in here. You can locate it in the river because you can hear it. Pay attention. Use your ears. Hear that banging noise? Follow it. And there it is. Our magical gas can. I almost first thought this was like a, one of those raft things that you float on top of a floaty, but it's actually a container. I wonder whatever that may be for. And there's one other item that I got over here when I was exploring. I don't know what it's for, but I'm going to assume it's for something in the near future. It's actually a bit more of this direction, I'm pretty sure. Running through the forest. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, there's just this little area over here. In this area, I can pick myself up an axe. Unfortunately, that makes trees fall over. But they don't do anything, so... Can't exactly pick up logs. I can actually. I didn't try this in the demo. Can I axe them? No. Can I axe this? No. In fact, there is even an axe icon on this, but for some reason, I can't axe it. One second. All the desyncing. All right, there we go. Which obviously means I probably need to go out over and do something else with this. Actually, I should probably put the axe away for now. Axe, go in my inventory. However, we have everything that we need to be able to solve this puzzle, and we're almost done where the demo ended. Literally, this whole area was the only thing in the demo, but that means this. after this point, I'm going in completely blind. Nothing. And thus, these puzzles might take me a lot longer to actually solve, because I had not already solved them. We go into our inventory, choose the empty jer jerry can. There we go. It's full now. I already have the gas tank full. I would have taken the hose if it was me, but yes, it's not me. So, over here we go. We have the gas that we need, which means we'll be A-OK -okay over here. Actually, over here. Can I open this? There was a gate here. Nope, the gate's locked. Uh, go right under here. Close the door. And we'll return some gas. I like how when you get the gas full, there's actually just a full like text written on the actual gas can. Because, you know, actual gas does that. That'd be a cool innovation. You can, like, it tells you exactly how much gas there is on there. Gas doesn't actually do that, though. Moreover, though, we now have the generator working, so we're all good with the world. Uh, there's a lot of useless stuff. I can use my superpower strength to bounce things around. You can't actually shatter stuff, in my experience. Apparently, everything is indestructible, even wine bottles. If I fucking do it like that, it doesn't even do that. If I throw it up in the air, it just bounces around. 
Anyways, though, if you listen to the gas can tanks, that one is full. That one is full. Well, not full, but it has uh, stuff in it. However, this one, it seems to be empty. And so what else do we do but ask it a question? Oh, me. And there's the key inside, which is probably to the ladies' room. I don't know how he knows that, though. Anyways, though, someone's quickly coming, so we better be discreet. Turn off the generator, turn off the lights. Luckily, they don't make you do it yourself, because, you know, that might have been creepy or something. Someone in a cloak. Normal. seems he's gone. It's dark as fuck in here. We go on our way outside. And of course, we're stricken. This is where the demo ended, so now I'm going in blind from here on out.